get such proofs in your exam for three to four marks. So learn such questions. Definitely solve your exercise questions from your NCRT textbook. Adil in the exam le definite questions for. Okay? In the my proofs definite were. Question number 13. Sum of n terms of an AP is 3n square plus 5n and its mth term am is 164. Find m. So you need to find what the m value is. Okay. So let's see. You have sn. So what do you need for what is the formula for am? Am equals a plus m minus 1 into d. So in order to find m, you already know the value of am. You need to know what a is and what d is. So it's very easy. What do you have? Sn. Same. S1 equals a1. Sum of the first term is the first term itself. S2 equals a1 plus a2. So what am I going to do? S1 equals substituting 1 in the equation. I have 3 times 1 square plus 5 times 1, which is 8, which is the first term. S2 equals 3 times 2 square plus 5 times 2. What do I have? 3, 4, 12 plus 10, which is 22. This is nothing but a1 plus a2. So what is my a2? It is s2 minus a1. a2 equals s2 minus a1, which is 22 minus 8. So what do I have? 14. So I have my a1 and a2. What is my common difference? a2 minus a1, which is 14 minus 8, 6. So I have my a, I have my b. So what is my am now? a plus n minus 1 into d. am is given to be 164 equals, what is my a? What is my a? 8. 8 plus m. m minus 1 times d, which is 6. 164 minus 8. 164 minus 8 equals m minus 1 times 6. 156 divided by 6. I am bringing this 6 here. Equals m minus 1. 6 la poguma. 6 twos are 3 carry over 6. 6 times. So I have m minus 1 equals 26. m equals 27. Okay. Question number 14. Insert 5 numbers between 8 and 26. So 8, you need a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, 26. You need to insert 5 numbers between 8 and 26 such that the resulting sequence is an AP. So this is nothing but the arithmetic mean. So how do you find out how many terms do you have? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have 7 terms. So your n is 7. Your a is 8, your a n is 26, you need to find the other terms. So what is your a1? a1 is nothing but a plus d. First term a, the common difference is d. So what is your second term? Rather a2 is a plus n minus 1 into d. Yeah. So you have a plus d. Your a2 is nothing but the first arithmetic mean. Okay? Clear? So a1 is a plus d. Similarly, a2 is a plus 2d, a3 is a plus 3d, a4 is a plus 4d and a5 is a plus 5d. Don't get confused between a1 and a1. This is the first term. This is the first arithmetic mean. Okay? So this a1 is a plus d. But this a2 is a plus 2d. a2 is actually a plus d. So this is your a1, a2, a3, small a1s. So these are all your large a1s, which are the arithmetic means. So now I need to find the value of d. So what is my d? Using the formula an equals a plus n minus 1 into d. I have my an. a1 is 8 plus n minus 1. What is my n? 7. 7 minus 1 is 6 times d. Okay. So what do I have? 26 minus 8. 26 minus 8 is 18 equals 60. D equals 18 by 6 which is 3. Now substituting it here, what is your A? Your A is 8. So 8 plus 3. Here you have 8 plus 3 2s are 6. 8 plus 3 3s are 9. 8 plus 3 4s are 12. I'm just substituting for D. 8 plus 5 3 15. So what is my answer? 11, 14, 17, 20, 23. Okay. So these are my 5 
numbers which are between 8 and 26 and when you include all these numbers the given sequence becomes an AP. So what is your AP? 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26. Common difference equal are ka? So the given sequence is an AP. Okay. Question number 15. Arithmetic mean of A and B is given to be A n plus B n divided by A to the n minus 1 plus B to the n minus 1. So arithmetic mean of A comma B. What is the arithmetic mean? The value that is just in between A and B. So which can be represented as A plus B by 2. So this is what we are going to equate. Now I am going to cross multiply. So what do I have? 2 times A n plus B to the n equals A plus B times A n minus 1 plus B n minus 1. So what do I have? 2 A to the n plus 2 B to the n equals multiply pan law. A times a to the power n minus 1. So, a to the power 1 times a to the n minus 1. Power gets added. So, what do you have? a times 1 plus n minus 1. 1 minus 1, you know, you have a to the n. Okay? So, a to the n plus a b to the n minus 1 plus a n minus 1 b plus b b to the n. Okay? So, this is what you get. So, bringing a n and b n to the left hand side. times b. So what do we have here? a to the n plus b to the n equals a b to the n minus 1 plus a n minus 1 times b. So what am I going to do? I am going to have a to the n here. I am going to bring this term to the left. So minus a to the power n minus 1 times b equals a b to the power n minus 1 minus b to the n. You will see why I did this. I am going to take a to the n minus 1 outside. So what do I have? A to the n minus 1 bracket. I need a n here. So I need a a. a times a to the n minus 1 is a. Right? Minus and left with b. Similarly on the other side, I am going to take b to the n minus 1 outside. b to the n minus 1. So I am left with a minus I need a b. Right? So what do I have? The a minus b and the a minus b gets cancelled. So I am left with a to the power n minus 1 equals b to the power n minus 1. I'm going to bring this to one side. A to the power n minus 1 divided by b to the power n minus 1 equals 1. 0 karayadu. Apana the multiply pana, you'll get back the same equation. Okay. If it is a minus, it becomes 0. If it is a to the n minus 1 minus b to the n minus 1 in the pakam 0. Okay. Please remember when you have to put a 0 and when you have to put a 1. Don't get confused. So taking common powers, a by b to the power n minus 1 equals 1. If a 1 the variety here, 1 can also be written as a divided by b to the power 0. Why am I doing that? I have a by b to the power n minus 1 on the left hand side. So if I get a by b on the right hand side, the bases are equal, so the powers are equal. Do you remember this? You learnt it in your 9th standard or 10th uh, standard. So since your bases are equal, your powers are also equal. So that's why in the 1 na a by b to the power 0. I can write anything else. I can write 1 lakh by 1 lakh to the power 0. But is it relevant? Every relevant arco, So the powers are equal. Since the bases are equal, the powers are equal. So n minus 1 equals 0, n equals 1. Okay.